you probably already eat eggs and bacon. You probably eat cold pizza. You probably eat a number of different things for breakfast that are not sweet. But when it comes to cereal, packaged cereal, granola, muesli, oatmeal, our minds immediately go to sugar, brown sugar, maple syrup, honey, things like that. This is a completely different notion, and it's, it's quite international. You have to remember that, that the way that we're used to eating things is, is cultural. It's a matter of habit. So wheat berries, whole wheat, takes a while to cook, maybe half an hour, even 45 minutes, sometimes even longer. But you can cook a lot of it at a time, keep it in the refrigerator, and heat up a little bit of a time as you need it. Also good in this context are bulgur, steel cut oats, oatmeal, polenta, many things that take, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So you're not wedded to long cooking times. But wheat berries are really great for this. Into a bowl. They look nice and poofy after they've cooked for a while. Pearled barley, which cooks quickly, is another excellent choice here. So into this, some nice chopped scallions. I don't think you can have too many, really. A tiny bit of sesame oil, say a teaspoon per serving. Soy sauce in place of salt. If you want to call this a recipe, you can call it a recipe. I call it breakfast. So I probably don't need to sell you on complex carbohydrates, fiber, no fat, etc., that kind of breakfast. But what I like about this is that it's very refreshing. You're not coming at it with any sort of preconceived notions. Chances are you did not eat this when you were six years old. This is new and therefore, I think, pretty exciting. Thank you.